wake up, Gary, he's already in the mood. Right, guys, if you live in a flat, you've got kids and a partner, you don't want to wake up from an early morning workout, or well, there's any way you can't go super crazy, make loads of jumping noises. Today, we've got an absolute belt of retreat for you. We've got a near silent workout. So get a load of this. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to another video with the Frontline Fitness Department. Hope you're all staying well, hope you're all staying safe, and most importantly, I hope you're all looking after each other. Today we've got the super sneaky silent workout. It's nearly silent, it depends how much you're grunting and wheezing during this workout, but that's on you, not me. Right, it's gonna be 30 seconds on of each movement, then 30 seconds of rest, and we're gonna repeat that for 10 moves today. I'm gonna to do this workout through with you, I'm gonna do one round through you because I am lovely like that. If you've only got 10 minutes, brilliant, this is for you. If you've got 20 minutes or 30 minutes, just go up in multiples of 10. Honestly, it's genius, it's not rocket science, it's brilliant, well good at mass me, as you already know. So, we're gonna do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, we're gonna start off with stealth burpee. So I'm gonna show you the move straight out and we're gonna get straight into it, okay? So no jumps, no uh, throwing yourself around or anything like that, so get a load of this. So we come down, one foot, two foot, in, in, up. Again, out, out, in, in. If you want to add a push up into this, because who wouldn't? Pop up, and again. So there's no jumping element. If you want to do push ups, but you're not quite ready for full push ups, get a box, your sofa, some sort of sturdy raised platform, and crack on with it. Get to work. Five seconds. I'm gonna be lazy, I'm gonna finish on there, give you a second to finish off. Right, we've got 30 seconds rest now. Fab dabby dozy. Look, who says that in 2021? Next movement we've got is lunge and rotation. So I'm gonna show you the movement before we get into it. So start off with a lunge, we're gonna lunge forward, then we're gonna to rotate towards the forward knee. We're gonna go in that direction there. On this side, if you've got a disco leg, like that, it's wobbling all over the show. When you step out, step out a little bit wider, because it's gonna create a much more stable base. So from the side, it's not this. We're looking at about 90 degrees for each leg, keeping that front knee tracking over the toes. Right, let's get to it. So it's gonna be in, rotate, and up. On the other leg, rotate, and up. <sighs> it's nice, isn't it, eh? So make sure when you're doing it, you're keeping that knee tracking out over your toes. You're not jumping, you're not throwing yourself around, you're keeping a nice stable core, keeping your shoulders up, not allowing our chest to dip down as we do it. So turn, we've got three seconds left, we've got time for one more, treat ourselves, and we are done for that one. So 30 seconds of rest, looking at how's everyone doing? Right, push-ups now. Uh, if you don't know how to do push-ups now, you can go back and check one of the videos. I'll go massively into depth on all the different types you can do, but your bog standard push-up, shoulders stacked over your wrists, feet together, hold a pound coin between your butt cheeks. Figuratively, not literally. Imagine holding your gym money. Down and up again. Don't lay your hips to sag. Don't come up. You can do it from your knees, or you can do it from a box. Whichever one you like. 30 seconds, let's get to it. Okay, so we'll start off. I'll do mine from the floor. Making sure that you are squeezing your glutes the whole time. Your glutes are perfectly engineered for your pelvis. So they're gonna keep you in the right position. If you need to take a rest from the push-ups, take a quick rest, get straight back into it. You've got seven seconds left, keep digging. All right, that's it, 30 seconds, done. Take a quick rest, how are we feeling, good? Ooh, that's nice that is. Right, next one we got is gonna to be toe crossovers. We're gonna lay down the floor, we get a little lie down, isn't this nice? It's not gonna be easy though, this is a little bit of an ab burn, all right? Big thing, while we're on the subject of abs, this, is not gonna give you a six pack, nor is any other six pack exercise that you see on the internet or anywhere. That's by creating enough of a calorie deficit to have shed enough fat to show your ab muscles. They're all there. That's a video for another day. What we're gonna do is lie down the floor, hand under our butt for a bit of support, and we're gonna point our toes and just do this motion with our feet. We're not up here. I want you to be down here, close to the ground, and just keep your feet fairly close together, keep them pointed, and keep switching them. You will start to feel a little bit of a burn in your stomach, in what's called your rectus abdominis, so your six pack muscles, and also all the way around it in your transverse. Ah, oh, it's built in this movement. Right, 30 seconds, done. Take your rest for a sec, pop back up, make sure you move around, make sure you get plenty of water when you can. Next, we've got slow mountain climbers. Hmm. Right, if anyone's ever done a hit video, chances are you've seen the mountain climbers before. 
you're off going mental like this, you're running on the spot, and the chances are you're thumping down on the floor, you're going to be shaking the house no end, someone's going to get the ump with you. So we're going to slow that movement down, but when we come up, we're going to contract for a second. One. Right, 30 seconds, let's go. So we come up, hold for a second, hold for a second, and we're slowing that movement down, so we're not making this massive impact, but we're going to squeeze at the top of that movement. So after doing those toe taps, sorry, those are foot crossovers, these are going to feel a little bit savage. So we've got five more seconds, stay with it. Ah, uh, there we go, 30 seconds. Oh, lush. What we got next, squat to high knee. Right, standard squat, if you find that you struggle getting to a depth of squats, what we're looking for in a squat is to come down to this range of motion here. If you can't, you can only get to here, it's absolutely fine. Something I've shown people before, put your heels on a weight plate, a book, something sturdy like that to raise your heels a little bit. Feet around about hip to shoulder width apart and squat down as well. Because your heels are higher, you're gonna have a much better range of motion. You're gonna be able to get into that point. So it's gonna be squat, and then high knee. Squat, high knee. And like that. So pick up the pace to whatever you think is appropriate. We wanna get that heart rate going. We wanna get your blood pumping. Remember though, this is super quiet. We're not waking people up. We're trying to be super sneaky. So our stealth ninja workout, no one knows we're here. So don't be slamming the floor down, keep control of the movement. That's it, 30 seconds, done. Take your rest for a sec. Low plank into high plank. Right, difference between low plank and high plank is one, you're on your hands, the other you're on your elbows. I'll show you from the front. In the low plank, your hands aren't here. You're like a sphinx. So your hands are gonna be palms are on the floor and they're facing forward. And then we're gonna come up, then we're gonna come down. You wanna try and imagine there's a glass of water on your back and we don't wanna tip that glass of water. So stay as sturdy as you can be, as steady as you can be. So top of a push-up position, coming down to the forearms, keep it forward, and then up to the top on our hands again. Remember, I don't wanna see this. It's not that, it's controlled movement. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your stomach, keep everything as stable as you can. Try not to spill any of that water. And then switch your arms over. So you're leading with the other arm. Oh, one more. Oh, okay, 30 seconds. Oh, I'll tell you what, that was a bit of stub, bit ab heavy, wasn't it? Crikey. Ground to standing. Now, I like this movement. This is ideal. This is brilliant. Because if you're in a confrontation with someone on the front line and it all goes a bit sideways and everyone ends up on the floor, who do you want to get up first? You or them? So you want to be up first. You want to be at a tactical advantage. So we're going to start off on the floor. And we're going to get up as quickly as possible. And then we're going to return back down. And we're going to come up. And then we're going to go back down. There's no rhyme or reason as to how you do it. If you want to turn over and get up, it's absolutely fine. It's up to you. But I want you to come from that laying position. You've got a little bit of extra rest because my watch uh, skipped out for a second. So you've got 10 more seconds. It's coming up. And get into stand as quickly as you can. So we're going to be doing 30 seconds of that. In three, two, one, let's go. Up to standing position and come back down quietly. Up. And keep it symmetrical. So you want to be doing it on the other side as well. And look at how you can mix it up. Maybe you want to get up a different way. It doesn't have to be the same way every time. It's about getting up to those feet as quickly as you can. Making sure you're in good position to be able to be up for the other person you're dealing with. That's it, nice, 30 seconds extra rest. Right, next we're gonna be doing is laying leg raises. My good grief, my stomach is on fire already. Laying leg raises, we're gonna get a lie down again, but we're not gonna be having a little siesta and a little bit of a sleep. 15 seconds, I'll show you what it is. Lying down the floor, it's gonna be feet either to the side or under your bum for a bit of stability again. We're gonna point those toes and we're gonna try and bring them up to here. Try and bring them up to 90 degrees when they come down, just next to the ground, don't rest them, and up again. If you can't do that, all right, time done, so let's go. If you can't do that, we're gonna scale it to do a knee raise. So feet all the way out, toes pointed. We're gonna bring them back in till our knees are at 90 degrees, and go there. But if you can, I want you bring your legs up to that 90 degree position there. Woo. If you haven't seen the film Anchor Man, you might not get the reference. That's a deep burn. <laughs> 
Keep pushing out. Keep that tension on as you're working. There we go. Take a 30 second rest. Oh, good grief. I've got a right off sweat on already. It's only been nine minutes, have a word. Right, I'm supposed to be fit. Sneaky skaters. So you might have seen skaters in some hit workout videos. It's this big jump across here, and then it's this big jump across here, not falling over like I normally do. But on this one, we're gonna slow it down, okay? We're gonna come in to there. But what we need to do is when you step in, get a little bit of a squat there. I'm a little bit, <laughs> I'm a little bit unbalanced going working on a mat. But step across, and it's gonna be a squat down. Squat down, so it's 30 seconds, let's go. So it's gonna be that step again. And we're going to cause, we're going to challenge ourselves by coming down a bit deeper into that squat. That leg's going to cross over behind us. Remember, we're not jumping. It's just sneaky. It's quiet. Keep yourself nice and stable. We're working our legs. Working our legs one at a time. It's unilateral movements. We're going to be creating stability, creating strength. We're going to put those legs to work again. It's gonna be excellent, 30 seconds, that is done. Look at that, 10 minutes of a little hit workout, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. If you wanna mix it up and do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, crack on. If you wanna go all the way through and do a minute of each of those back to back, fair play to you, smash on with it. If you wanna boost it up and then do 20 minutes, like I said at the start, do two rounds of it, just rewind back to the start of the video, go through my little intro while I prattle on for a minute, then we crack straight on from there. If you wanna do three rounds, much the same. If you wanna do four rounds, my gosh, you've got a lot of time on your hands. But have a go at that. Let me know how you get on. Let me know which one's your favorite exercise, which one is your not so favorite exercise. Any questions, give me a shout on here. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube. Come give us a shout. The Frontline Fitness Mailbox will work. Have a brilliant day. Look after each other and stay safe.